Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat, and as we can see here, War Games, which will be starting tomorrow, will be Andrade, which is very, very cool. Very nice to see this brand new artwork of Andrade. So, now let's take a quick look and see what else we have. We have the Supercard Puzzler today, and we have a brand new quest that has just started. And it's the Whole World Quest. So what this is, we'll just look at it one by one. So if you fill the dust meter, you'll get five lantern tokens, and that is repeatable. If you win 10 24-7 championship games, you'll get a rarity draft pick. If you win using a Bray Wyatt card, if you win 10 games with a Bray Wyatt card, you'll get another five lanterns. When you win a game in any PvP league mode, you get a rarity draft pick. And when you use your super move 15 times, you'll get one of these legacy rares of the Bray Wyatt card, and if you complete all of them, it gives you 150 credits. So, it doesn't give you the, the Bray Wyatt, however, there's multiple ways to get this Bray Wyatt. As you can see here, we're on 130 of the 150 tokens, then that will give us a guaranteed Bray Wyatt that way. You also have a chance of getting a Bray, a Bray Wyatt from the free pack here every single time, so you want to go for them, and also this will also give you a lantern as well. 150 lanterns gets you the Bray Wyatt. But there is also a very special limited edition Bray Wyatt Fiend that you can only get from the Rare to Draft Pick. Now the Rare to Draft Pick, you don't have to be Royal Rumble 24, but apparently if you can get between... Uh, uh, the reports are coming in saying anywhere between 25 and 35 Rare to Draft Picks, then you should get the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Apparently there's no limit on how many people can get them. Apparently they are purely random, but you should be able to get them if you keep going. Now, we're going to try out Puzzler today. Now, I'm not very good at Puzzler, but this will give us more lanterns, and if we manage to get, if we manage to solve five puzzles, which, spoiler alert, we won't, it will give us a chance at getting a Bray Wyatt card spell. So let's go ahead and try it. We'll certainly be able to do the first one. It is everything after that that will be a little bit questionable. Thankfully, there's no glitches screwing us over this time. That is nice to see. So I can do the first two easily enough. This is the part where I have to concentrate. Oh, we does it. And with five seconds left as well. So I've never seen Puzzle 4 before, so this is all new to me. Oh, I did say that. I'm not quite so good at these. Uh, we were one, two, three, four away from doing it, but I made a couple of mistakes there. We've got a Seamus, we've got an Otis, and we've got two Lantern tokens. So, not, not the best, I will say. I've done better in the past, but not with this one. So let's go ahead and dust some of these cards here. I'm going to dust Otis and Seamus. Did get a Roman Reigns, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, uh, he is, well, we had two of them before, but we have enough pros now, so, yeah, I think we have to unfortunately get rid of the Tribal Chief, which uh, kind of sucks, because he would have been very, very cool, but once you have the, the, the number of, you know, cards that you need, um, the rest of them aren't required. So we can pro our AJ style, so let's go ahead and combine those. Uh, so we just need to remove this one from Wild, and we can go ahead and combine. So yes, there is our pro, the phenomenal AJ Styles, with the world title around his shoulder. We're going to lock that one down as well. So what I mean by we can get rid of cards, well let me just explain it all to you. 
So basically you want four good up arrows, four good down arrows, four left and four right. So our up arrows are of course the King of Kings Triple H himself. It is Drew McIntyre, Triple H and Dragon Lee who is fortified too. In terms of down arrows we have CM Punk, Austin Theory, Channing Stacks Lorenzo and our next down arrow is... The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Now this was acting as our up arrow before, but we can actually just detach this now because it's no longer required. In terms of right arrows, we have Gunther. We have the Battle Pass Randy Orton himself. We have the Big Red Machine Kane. And lastly, our next best right arrow is CM Punk, is Seth Rollins. However, we do just have the Level Zero AJ Styles and Giovanni Vici, which will be replacing one of those cards. So once we get the AJ Styles and the Giovanni Vici up there, I suspect that they'll be around the area here of Kofi Kingston and Bobby Lashley. In terms of left arrows, we have Ilya Dragunov, we have the Valentine's Day Pro Karrion Cross. then our next left arrow is the almighty Bobby Lashley, and then Kofi Kingston which still has a few more games left to get, and hopefully that should bring him up just a tiny bit as well. So you can see here that our American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, which is the Tundra Fusion, which is 453, and our Double Heroic Tundra Kevin Owens are still up here in terms of, you know, the powerful cards. So it does go to show that some of these cards from the previous tier are actually still viable. Now, we're definitely going to get this Double Heroic uh, Andrade as well. So, that is going to replace our weakest up arrow, which is going to be Dragon Lee, surprisingly. But, instead of just getting rid of Dragon Lee, what I can do is I could then use one of these arrows to... change him to a right arrow, or we could... I'm trying to remember where the other one was. These ones are the up arrows, certainly. The Octane is the left arrows, and is it Pixel that's the down arrow? Pixel is the down arrow one. So we can change them to whatever arrow we want them to. So if, for example, our left arrows, which are a little bit lacking, we maybe make them to a left arrow instead. And that means that we wouldn't have as much need for the likes of like Kofi Kingston or such. Now these ones we are keeping purely because of the artwork and because I try not to get rid of event cards if I can help it. Just keep those going. So, very very cool. Um, I believe that war this War Games I think might be one of our last events. Let me just check the things here. So War Games and Giants Unleashed are going to give us... Uh, the so we're going to get the first Andrade from War Games. The second Andrade is going to come from Giants Unleashed. Then after that, we've got a flash event here that's going to be Road to Glory and Ring of Domin Ring Domination, both in the same weekend. And then after that, we have a brand new Road to Glory. And I suspect that this one may be WrestleMania tier. So I think this flash event might be our last card, and then the Road to Glory is going to be the start of our WrestleMania 40 tier, because I believe that WrestleMania 40 should be on the weekend that this Road to Glory finishes, so I expect it to be Ring Domination, because we've just had War Games and Giants Unleashed, and then after that we're going to get our first PvP card the week after WrestleMania. So I think Andrade is the last one that we're going to get for... Well, it's going to be the second last. This is going to be the last main event for getting your Andrade, but then there will be a flash event that will also give you the chance to get another double heroic card, and then we should be going into WrestleMania 40, is what my thoughts are. So you want to get in there, you want to try and play as many games as possible so that you can get your chance at getting this version of Bray Wyatt. And of course you want to try and pull the Legacy Edition version of The Fiend from the Rarity Draft Pick. 
Now remember the rarest draft pick, you don't have to be Royal Rumble 24, you can be any tier and you can get him off of the rarity draft board pool as well. So that is a very, very cool, very nice thing to have for everyone to pay respects to the honour and the memory of Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt he hasn't been confirmed yet, but I suspect he should probably be going into the Hall of Fame uh, if not this year, then next year, but I suspect it'll probably be this year. We have already seen Bull Nakano and Paul Heyman are going into this year's uh, Hall of Fame. So, very, very cool to see them get the, the proper respect that they deserve and are being shown. So, that's where we are at with that. So, there we are. Um, now, we do have some previous Andrade cards, but... You, of course, will have to have been around since the the first time that he was around. Let's take a look at Andrade now. And there we go. So these are the previous versions of Andrade that we've had. The last one that we did have was Royal Rumble 21. And, of course, he is available in Royal Rumble 24. That is going to be the event card one there. So it has been three years since we've had an Andrade card. But there you can see there's all of the original versions of Andrade all the way back to the hardened NXT version and that was his first event card there as well with the the Hamelog DDT being his his finish so very very cool I'm excited to have a new Andrade card after such a amount of time and yeah I'm going to be trying to do these quests remember as well as doing the quests you also want to do the daily log login bonus. If you don't know how to do the daily login bonus, do check that out in the previous video that went out earlier today. And you'll be able to get the strongest equipment card in the game. The last big equipment card that we had belongs to CM Punk. And it is this card right here that is the CM Punk pillow. You can see here that that gives a tremendously massive amount of power to your toughness. The Bray Wyatt one is similar, but it's not a Tundra card, it's a Royal Rumble 24 card, and it gives it all to power, and it gives additional power if you equip it to a Bray Wyatt, so that Bray Wyatt card is going to be absolutely ginormous. Now, of course, also don't forget that your Battle Pass is still underway, so do make sure to keep up with that, so that you can get your Jade Cargoes if you are going for her. But that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.